Okay, today I'm building a real cheap, inexpensive, easy to build Jacob's Ladder for Halloween. Um, I had these ceramic uh, insulators. I got them out of laser parts, but um, you can use any type of ceramic or glass uh, tube insulator, a uh, soda pop bottle, something um, that will just not conduct electricity and will hold a piece of metal in it. Um, I'm taping them together with some electrical tape. Okay, that's the final result of taping the two insulators together. No big deal, real easy. Next, I have a couple regular wire coat hangers. I'm going to open them up, cut the curly part off, and uh, straighten them out as best I can. As you can see, I just used a pair of wire cutters, cut this top curly part off, and straightened it out. I'm going to go ahead and do the other one now. Okay, on mine I put a couple uh, bends at the end just like that. That way when I can stick them through here. It gives me a place to wire up to. So, um, depending on what kind of insulator you use uh, will determine how you need to bend that wire just so you have something you can attach your uh, high voltage transformer leads to, which we'll get to next. Okay, so I put a bend in it. Uh, you want to you want to put a bend like that in it just to make your gap a little closer when it starts out. Then as the gap, as the spark increases, uh, rises up, it increases in distance. Um, there's my two leads at the end. Now I'm doing this quick and dirty, so I'm just going to strap it to a glass jar uh, to keep it upright. Okay, now we have the uh, spark gap connected to the jar to keep it upright. Now it's time to start wiring. Okay, we have here a transformer out of a neon sign. Uh, neon sign transformers work great for this project because they are high voltage, they don't provide a lot of current, they're just used to ionize some gas. So you can see this one here uh, has 120 volt primary input, 15,000 volt output, and they're only delivering 30 milliamps, so not too dangerous. Okay, so I took some sandpaper and just cleaned off some of the varnish on the coat hanger there like that. Did it all the way up and down, but it doesn't really matter too much. Um, next, I'm just going to connect my uh, transformer output to the coat hangers with these butt slices. Butt splices. And um, it doesn't really matter that uh, none of the wire is rated for 15,000 volts. Um, that wire is going to be expensive and... Uh, hard to find and it really doesn't matter electricity finds the past of least resistance which is not going to be through the insulation of the wire this is just regular 600 volt insulation and we're going to make do with that okay I got my uh, antenna wires connected up to I just again just taped it onto the top of the transformer real quick and dirty um, the 120 volt input. I'm going to go ahead and put some tape over those just because those are dangerous to touch that. And we want to make sure little kids trick or treating don't grab onto any of this. So, it is, com is totally complete. And let's go ahead and plug it in here. There you have it.